This is a mystery box, the nautical crate. There's no visible way to unlock it. Pretend you're in an escape room or a scavenger hunt, or perhaps this is part of a magic trick. But one way or another, you've been led to the clue, steer to the N Atlantic. Now, the other clues lead you to find a ship's captain's wheel. The box has the word Atlantic on it. There's one N in Atlantic. Here's what happens when we place the wheel on the box. It now opens to reveal the solution or perhaps the next clue. What we have here are a king of spades, king of clubs, king of hearts, and a blank card. This must be the next clue. A mystery box is a lot of fun, and it's fairly simple to make. It doesn't require any microcontrollers or programming. In fact, it uses very few components. This one uses a solenoid, a reed switch, a magnet as the key, and some batteries. Let's take a look at the insides of it and see how it works. This is a solenoid. A solenoid is essentially an electromagnetic coil and a shaft or slug that runs through the middle of it. When the coil is charged, it drives the slug in one direction or another, and there's usually a spring attached to one side to return it when the power is removed. When I connect the wires, the shaft pulls back. And this is how we're going to create the locking mechanism for the mystery box. We're gonna use a special kind of switch called a reed switch. The way these work is there's a set of metal contacts inside that are normally open. When a magnet travels near enough, those close and therefore close the circuit and will allow our solenoid to close. The way we'll use this in our circuit is to place the reed switch between the power supply and our solenoid. So when a magnet gets nearby, the box will open. This is a cutaway I made of the inside of the box so that we can see it in action. When I use the magnet to trip the solenoid, you can see that there's a brass hook here that catches on the shaft of the solenoid when it closes. So that's what keeps it from lifting open. When we use this magnet, it frees the solenoid from the hook. These are the steps to building the latch mechanism inside of your mystery box. Start a little hole just tap that in a little bit to get a hole started. And then you can use a small drill with a drilling bit on the end. Now I'm gonna screw in the brass cup hook. Okay, so that seems like a pretty good placement. And what I'm gonna do is mount the solenoid to the side of the box with these little mounting ears, and then I'll be able to fine tune the hook until it works out just right. I'm going to tighten one screw down fairly tight so that I can then test out some angles. What you'll see is that the solenoid, if it's tipped up just a little bit, may engage the hook a little bit better. Also at this point, an important warning. Don't close the box with the wires tucked in there because if the hook does latch it, you're now going to have a hard time getting back in. So leave it outside so that we can use power to slide the solenoid if necessary. Ah, we got it. So the box is now latched shut and I can just use the power supply to open that. So now what we'll look at is the placement of the reed switch so that we can trip this circuit from the outside using a magnet. We can test out the reed switch now by splicing it into the solenoid circuit with ground connected directly between the battery pack and the solenoid and then the reed switch will go between the power leads.
Now we can do a little bit of a neatening up job inside of the box here. I'm gonna take some hot melt glue and just put a dot of it on the end of the battery pack so that this doesn't shift around inside the box. We can pop that off later if we need to, to change the batteries. Okay, and then with that in place, you can glue down the wires and the other connectors. So to create the false bottom for this part of the box, what we'll do is just mark off and cut out a piece of cardboard. And then we'll also cut out a small notch so that the brass hook can pass through that position and into the solenoid. So here I'm just gonna check where the brass cup hook is going to contact the cardboard and then I can mark that off to cut out. And now to fancy things up a bit, I'm gonna cover this with some felt. You can use adhesive back felt uh, or you can use some glue and place the felt, I've already pre-cut in this case, over our cardboard and the notch. It's a nice idea to embed the magnet into some other object that can be found, that can be the answer to a previous puzzle, perhaps. So what I chose were these resin Christmas tree ornaments. What I did was took one of these and on the drill, I drilled out a little hollow that I could insert my magnet. Then I hot glued that in place and I even built up a bulb of hot glue in the same round dome shape that was on the other side. Finally, I painted it to match the color to the brown of the paint. So finally, we can use our box in our escape room. I get to use the ornament with the secret magnet to place it over the proper location, open the box, and reveal, hey, where'd he come from? I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries. I hope you've enjoyed the mystery box, The Nautical Crate.